This time we're going to jailbreak the iPod Touch 2nd generation with green poison. Last time I tried jailbreak with red snow, but that was a tethered jailbreak and didn't really work too well. So this one should be an untethered jailbreak. We'll put in DFU mode. And I already know how to do this. There we go. I finally got to start jailbreaking. And there's code. If you're going to be jailbreaking your iPod Touch 2nd generation, the newer MC model. It's mostly the 8GB model released in 2009 instead of 2008. You have to use terminal. It's kind of complicated, but it's probably the only way it works. And you have to just put in DFU mode. You have to do that. You have to go to. You have to do just slash applications or wherever it is at, and then you do the app and then slash content slash macOS slash green poison. Hit enter, and then it takes a while because it waits for it in DFU mode. But once it's in DFU mode, then it starts right there. Checking device. And stuff. And now it is loading. Once it's finished, I'll show you. Okay, here's the device. After jailbreaking, it's running red door. So, just to test, it is on untethered jailbreak. We will say reboot. And the Apple logo is transitioning to the Green Poison logo, so it looks like it is on an untethered jailbreak. To get this to work on Mac, you probably have to do the terminal command line just to make sure everything is going good, because when you're in the terminal, it shows you all the the whole entire log. It takes a while to load. And there it is. There it is, all loaded up. It's a little laggy because I'm running Red Door. But there's the home screen. And that's it.